Hey guys, Chris here for Tumans Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I want to figure out how complicated it really is to install a Bixby with a Vibromate adapter kit. In this series, I want to show you how to fix the most common issues and how to set up your guitars and basses without too many special tools. We get asked a lot, which Bixby do I need for my guitar? Can I install it myself? I don't want to drill holes in my guitar, so which Vibromate mount do I need? Let's put a Bixby on this Les Paul with the fitting Vibromate mount. And let's talk about compatibility too. In case you enjoy Guitar Tech Tips, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. First of all, you have to find the right Bixby version for your guitar. If it's a Tele, an SG or any other flat top solid body guitar, the B5 is going to be the best fit. And for arch top guitars such as a Les Paul, the B7 is going to be the best choice. There are some other models too, such as the B6 for jazz guitars and the B3 for semi-hollow guitars. That being said, I've seen SGs with a B3 as well, and on my ES330, there's a factory B7 instead of the B3. So it's possible to choose alternative Bixby's, but please consult with a guitar tech before you choose an incompatible Bixby for a guitar. There are some affordable Bixby versions too, like the B50 for tallies, SGs and flat top guitars, and the B70 for Les Pauls and arch tops. But you have to know that these Korean made versions are not compatible with the Vibromate adapter kits. Which brings me to the subject of this video, what is this Vibromate mounting kit and how to install it. This is a metal plate, or for this model, two metal plates, that go under the Bixby and it allows us to put the vibrato on the guitar without any modifications or extra screw holes. Good news for fellow Telecaster fans, there is a Vibromade model, the V5TEV, for tallies with a vintage style ashtray bridge. It even comes with a replacement ashtray bridge, which is necessary to stabilize the Bixby with the Vibromate base plate. Don't worry if you can't find this Vibromate version in the Toman store, just write the guitar department an email and ask for a custom order for the V5TEV. For this B7 Bixby, I will use the V7 Vibromate, which has two metal plates. One goes to the front and one goes to the strap pin hole. First, I'll check if the parts have the right dimensions for the guitar. Then, remove the strings, the stop tail piece and the strap pin at the back. The Vibromate comes with both metric and imperial screws for the tail piece. Since this is a Gibson, I use the imperial screws. You should remove the felt pads on the front feet of the Bixby if you're installing it with the Vibromate. I will not do that because this is only a temporary install and this B7 has to go back on my ES330 after making this video. By the way, since we're talking about the felt pads, these can color nitrocellulose finish. I think this is important to know if you want to install any of these on your Gibson guitar or any other expensive guitar with a nitro finish. Don't fully tighten the front screws of the Bixby yet. Mount the tailpiece plate with the four screws and check if the angle of the vibrato allows the back plate to align with the strap pin hole. If it all fits nicely, tighten the two front screws and the strap pin. If not, you might need spacers between the Vibromate bridge plate and the guitar inserts to adjust the angle of the vibrato. I'll put new strings on this Les Paul and take it for a test ride. If you want to know more about how to restring a guitar with a Bixby, we have an episode for you. You'll find the link in the description box. My impressions of the installation, it's, it's pretty simple, there are just a few screws and everything makes sense, so you know what to do, even without reading tons of manual pages and everything. But since every arch top guitar has a slightly different arch, you will probably have to adjust the angle of the Bixby. In this case, I had to loosen the two studs. Uh, basically for the tailpiece, the original tailpiece, a little bit until I was able to adjust the angle of the whole uh, vibrato. 
it was a little scary at the beginning, but uh, actually it's very stable. So I don't have the feeling that this is not going to hold on long term. It's just a little weird that you have to tilt this Vibromate plate to get the right angle with the vibrato. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions left. I'd also love to know what you want to see in this series. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. Good news for a te <laughs> Total sweet. Shadow on the wall. Shadow on the wall.